Hello, friends. Welcome to Art Week 23. We are in a yellow folder this week, and I am going to jump right into our lesson. We're going to start with reading a story, a book called Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. So I'm going to uh, switch over to my desktop camera and we'll get our story started. Okay. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. Hmm. I wonder why the cat couldn't find them. One day while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint, one red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Uh-oh, look at those mice. Oh my goodness. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. The mice painted themselves. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. Mm, boy, I have a feeling these mice are about to get messy. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until... What color do you think that puddle is going to turn? Look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. Oh, so when you mix red and yellow, you can make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... Anyone know what color you get when you mix blue and yellow? Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Oh, yellow and blue make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until... What do you think red and blue are going to make when you mix them together? Hmm? Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. Oh, I guess the mice got all cleaned up. They washed all that paint off. Ooh. What did they wash the paint off in? The cat's water bowl. <laughs> I don't think the cat's going to like that. And they painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow. And one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. Yellow and blue to paint a green part. And blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. Ah, so they have a place to hide when the cat shows up because they're white mice. And if they're standing in front of white paper, 
It's harder to see them. All right, what a great story. So I'm going to uh, jump into, right into what our project is going to be uh, for this week. So it's gonna take us a couple weeks to do this. You're gonna need to get out your supplies. You're gonna want your white piece of watercolor paper. This is the thick, heavier paper that you have in your supply bag. You're gonna want your paint set, your brush, of course, that comes with the paint set. And then you'll need a small container of water. I'll put mine right over here. There we go. You don't need very much water in there. Just a little bit will do. Um, it'll be just enough to mix our paints up in our paint set. So first thing you want to do, remember, we want to get a wet brush when we start painting. So I'm going to dip the end of my brush in the water. And I'm going to start. We're going to paint what happened in the story. We're not going to make the mice yet. We're going to make the mice in our next lesson. We're going to just do those puddles of paint today. So I got some water on my brush. And I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm going to put yellow right at the top in the middle of my paper. So I've got my paper the long way here. Right about in the middle up there, I'm going to paint a puddle of yellow. So first I'm going to add some water to my yellow in my paint set and stir that around for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And a real simple puddle and you can paint right along with me. Remember we don't want to scribble with our brush and push it that way. It'll mess up the bristles. We want to be nice and gentle with our brush strokes. And if you need to get more paint, add a little bit more water. You don't want to add too much water to your paint. It won't show up very well. Make sure you stir in enough too, or it won't show up very well. That's why I say stir in and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't think my white pup, my yellow puddle shows up too great on the camera there, but there you go. You can see I outlined my puddle first and now I'm just painting it in. And then once you've got your puddle ready, you want to like make little mouse tracks. We're going to make our, our red, yellow, and blue puddles are going to be in kind of a, uh, triangle on our paper. I'll show you what I mean. I've got my yellow puddle right up at the top and I'll put a red puddle down in this corner when I get to that and a blue puddle in the other corner when I get to that. First I'm going to make, since I've got yellow on my brush right now, I'm going to make some mouse tracks to about halfway to the corner down here. All right, so get some more yellow on my brush. One, two, three, four, five. And it's just like making little dashed lines, like you're pretending your brush is a mouse walking over to that bottom corner, but it'll stop about halfway. And then we're going to do that on the other side too. Our mouse is going to walk from that puddle to this corner, but it's only going to make it halfway. Make a few more little mouse footprints making its way down. This one's winding around a little bit, but it's making its way and it stops halfway. All right, now we're going to switch to another color. I'll do red, my red down in this corner here. So I'm going to wash off my brush. Remember, every time you change colors, you want to wash off the old color on your brush and test it on my arm to make sure it's clean. Looks good, didn't leave a mark. So I'm going to go to my red paint now and stir that in the red for five seconds. One, two, three, four, 
five. And make sure you've got enough water in there, but not too much. It's like baby bear, just a little, not a lot, just right. And now I'm going to make my red puddle in the corner here. Here's another way you can make a puddle, make it kind of a, with the shape of a spill. If you've ever spilled anything, right? Sometimes the, the spills are interesting shapes. Uh, speaking of spilling, make sure you don't spill your cup of water. Uh, you want to keep that clear. I have mine pretty close to my paper just because I want it to fit in the video, but uh, it might be a good idea to keep your water container not super close to where you're painting so you don't bump it. And now I'm going to fill in that red puddle, color it in with red paint. And add some more water. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. There. Now I need to add my mouse tracks. My little mouse footprints coming out of my red paint. So I'll get some more red on my brush. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to first, I'm going to make it walk right up to where that the yellow footprints ended. So my little mouse footprints walking over where those yellow footprints are. There we go. And now I'm going to make my red footprints go about halfway. Remember, we're gonna have a blue puddle over here when we switch to blue, but I need my red mouse footprints to go about halfway to that other corner. So get some more red on my brush and here we go. My mouse is walking on over to that blue puddle. There we go. And now we need to make that blue puddle. So I'm going to wash the red off of my brush because I'm switching colors. Swish it around in the water for a couple of seconds. All right. And test it if you like. That looks good. Don't want to test on your clothes. And now I'm going to get some water on my brush and I'm going to mix it into the blue paint in my paint set. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And I'll make my blue puddle down in the corner. And there's no wrong way to make your paint puddles here. But you remember want, you want to be gentle with that paintbrush. You don't want to scribble with it. Just patience and take your time, my friends. There we go. That's a nice blue puddle. I'll paint that in. Get some more blue paint on my brush. And it does take some time painting, especially when you're switching colors so much, but artists are patient. We work hard, right? You just try your best. Just have that all painted in. And then of course I have to add my blue mouse footprints walking over to my yellow footprints, meeting them halfway, and then walking over to my red footprints and meeting them. So I'll get some more blue on my brush. And first I'll have my mouse walk on up to those yellow footprints. There we go. And now it's gonna be Mouse footprints going over to those red footprints.
All right, now comes the challenging part. This is where we're going to be artist scientists. Where the footprints meet, we are going to mix the two colors of the footprints. So here, uh, red and blue meet. So I'm going to make a new puddle there mixed with red and blue. And this is where your paint set can come in handy. All right, that clear part of your paint set, the cover, if you open that up, you can mix paint right on the clear plastic part. So I'm going to write in the, right over here, it looks like I already mixed up some, some purple before. I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. So I'll get some more blue since I still have blue on my brush. I put some blue in there and now I'm gonna wash off my brush before I put it in my red. And I'm gonna add some red to that little mixing puddle that I'm making. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll mix those together right on our plastic cover. And boom, purple paint, ladies and gentlemen. So get that nice purple paint all over my brush. And now I just paint a nice purple puddle. Whoa, no, wrong place. Purple puddle goes down here. And we'll see if I can. There we go. Just wipe that off a little bit. You know, I'll make little mistakes, my friends. That's okay, but I know my purple puddle needed to go down here between my red and blue puddles. And I wiped up my mistake, so I'll be able to paint right over that. There we go. Purple puddle right down there. Now let's do what is going to be my mix of yellow and blue is green. So I need to wash the purple off of my brush. So I'm gonna switch that in the water for a bit, get all that purple off. And now I'm going to mix up some green on my paint case. So I know I need some yellow first. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'll put some yellow paint down there on my paint cover where I'm going to mix things before I paint on the paper. And then I'll wash off my brush and get some blue paint on the end. One, two, three, four, five. And it's it's good that I made that little mistake just to let everyone know when you make a little mistake like that, don't, don't get all upset, right? Artists figure out a way to fix it or act like they meant to do it. All right, that's, that's one way we can solve those little problems. So here we go. I mixed up some nice green and I'll make my green puddle right over and look at that. I'm covering up my purple mistake. You can't even see it anymore. Add a little bit more water to my green here. And make a nice green puddle. That's where the mice mix the blue and the yellow. There we go. So I've got a nice green puddle there. And now I need to make my mix of red and yellow and make my orange puddle right there. So I'm gonna wash off my brush real good especially when you're going into your yellow paint of your paint set, you wanna make sure your brush is really clean because it's really easy to make that yellow in the paint set dirty. And then once it's dirty, you can't really get good yellow paint anymore. It's gonna be all mixed up. So we wanna keep the paint in the paint set clean. That's why we're mixing the paint on the cover, that clear plastic cover of our paint set. So I'm gonna add some yellow paint once I get some on my brush here where I'm gonna mix my orange on my plastic cover. And now I'm going to rinse off my brush so I can add some red to where I'm mixing my paint on the plastic cover. And mix those together. And oh yeah, we got a nice orange 
I want to make that a little more orange, so I'm going to add some more yellow paint to it. I'm going to wash off that brush to get some more yellow. And mix that right in, mix it all up together, get that orange paint all over your brush. And now it's time to make that last puddle. There we go, there's my orange puddle. And we'll make the mice in our next lesson, my friends. We just wanted to get our paint puddles done so that they've got time to dry. And this painting will be nice and dry for us to add to in our next lesson. So there we go. I have all of my paint puddles from the story. I have my yellow, my red, my blue, and then I have my mixed puddles. I have my green, I have my purple, and I have my orange. So you want to make sure uh, to keep this um, in a nice safe place to dry where it won't get uh, lost or damaged. Uh, make sure to write your name on it if you're in the classroom where I'm sure um, we already had some help with that. But um, that's going to make sure that your painting doesn't get mixed up with someone else's while it's drying. So I've got my name on there and that's all you need. Uh, for this week, my friends, you don't need to turn anything yet in yet because we're not done with this project. We're going to finish it in our next class. So I'm going to uh, end my screen share here and remember to keep this painting in a nice safe place for it to dry so that we can add to it next time. All right. Good work, paint mixing friends, and uh, have a great day.